Hey besties, welcome to Cozy Rosie Reviews from My Couch. Today, I am doing a movie review for Run Rabbit Run, currently on Netflix. It is from director Dana Reed, who also directed Shining Girls, and it stars Sarah Snook and Lily Latour. After noticing the strange behavior of her daughter, Sarah must challenge her own values and confront a ghost from her past. The premise felt very Babadook meets Hereditary, but it was slow, and the slowness of it really borders on boring. Like, yes, there are really exciting parts, but then there are parts where it's just like B-roll. And it's like, why are you showing me this? This isn't necessary here. Like, stop it. And they'll like show you B-roll and then like something will happen and you're just like, how is this connected? There's this one part where she's driving and that happened. I was just like, these entire like five minutes were completely unnecessary to move the plot along. So that was really annoying. But I do have to say that Sarah Snook holds this movie together. She did fantastic. And the kid is creepy too. Now the movie leaves a lot unsaid, and like not in a good way, because it wants to be supernatural, but when you have something supernatural, there are usually rules and regulations to the supernatural phenomenon that's happening. But here it was really unclear. It's like, is it a haunting? Is it a possession? Is it a mental breakdown? Like what? is it so that I can understand what is happening and like all three things are just used interchangeably and it's like no that doesn't make sense you need to pick one so that I know what's happening here buddy and also it was truly disturbing and like not in a fun way like the hereditary is like fun disturbing where it's like ooh this was just like what is happening happening like this isn't fun it wasn't fun to watch it was very draining it was mentally draining to watch this movie because what was happening on the screen was either not very interesting or anxiety inducing there were small parts that were well done and they were creepy and it worked but it really felt like there was just too much thrown in here to make a cohesive story and it's an indie film and i feel like Horror indie films can go either way. It can be like very renaissance of horror or it can be this and it's just like, what are you doing? So for rating, I give Run Rabbit Run a two. It's really missing cohesiveness for me. It's missing that part of the storytelling where it's like, what is this movie? What are you trying to tell me? Like, what is this movie really about? I have no clue. It did too much. It did too much and it just never came together. So, run rabbit run. Have you seen it? What did you think? Leave a comment down below and if you like my video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and don't forget to check out merch shop below. So, until next time, friends. Bye.